the HO Christmas tree layout that I've been working on all year. There's a tr tree on one end of the board. We have all of our Christmas houses here on this end. We have the trains. We got a siding with one main line. We've got the old, um, the old Tyco cars that I had from when we were when I was a kid. Uh, pulling with a DCC locomotive. Had to get a new locomotive. A lot of old locomotives weren't running anymore. Um, got a BL, BNO. Um, the BNO new locomotive. Those were the old BNO coaches that we had when I was a kid. Uh, we've got our Christmas houses we got for. Um, Here's the house we got for a wedding. And in the back, um, in the back we see I have uh, my grandfather's old HO tanker um, from the old set. Um, not sure how to convert that into what we have right now. Uh, one of the things we've done, I did was, is I've got lights that um, are on a light sensor, so when it's light out, they don't turn on. When it gets dark, they um, do turn on. Um, we've got an electronic control of the um, switch, the turnout here, and um, I've got a crossing gate that I jury rigged from um, an old crossing gate on our old set, um, put up with lights. I've got th three sensors, one sensor coming off the you can kind of see the lights down in there. One sensor coming off the siding, one sensor coming off the main line. So as soon as they get hit, it triggers the gate. And I've got a third sensor near the end back here, down inside there, so that when the train goes by, the gate goes back up. Uh, a little tran two transistor flasher circuit and connected to an Arduino controlling the servo to raise and lower the gate and um, turn on and off the gate and the lights, the blinking lights. Um, so this is the, the HO layout. Um, pretty happy with it. We have a couple LEDs that decided not to work <laughs> at the last minute, so I've got to fix those later for next year. But other than that, things came out pretty nice.